Hello and welcome to another edition of The Crafting Guru. Now in this second video, we are now going to start creating our bow tie. So as you can see, I've got my pieces laid out on my uh, ironing table. So we've got the two main bow parts and we've got the fusing. We have the small bow strap and we have here the main bow strap. So those are the parts that we need first of all. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our fusing and we need to fuse one of the main bow parts. I'm just going to take that out of the way. Now with fusing you've got a bobbly side which is where the glue is and you have a smooth side. So the bobbly side goes onto the wrong side of your fabric because that's where it's going to bond. It's going to bind and bond onto that. So we're just going to place that on there and carefully with the iron. Now I always make sure that it is sort of fused on all of the whole lot. Now that's not fused on there. It's not fused there properly. But we've started to make this to bond. Okay, we started to bond this. So, what we need to do is just now properly just hold the iron in place like that. And what you do is you can just, you can actually leave your iron just sit like that. And then you can move it to the next part. Like so. Okay. You can just leave that. You know, if you wanted to. What it does is it just really, really bonds this fusing onto your fabric. Okay. Uh, now, usually when you are fusing, interfacing, you're always going to get part of the fusing which is going to stick over the fabric itself. So what you do is you just cut that off. Like so. Just cut that off and make sure that all of this is really neat. So just cut off the excess. Now, there shouldn't be a lot, but nevertheless, all you need to do is just cut off the excess just to make this really neat. Like so. Okay, there. It's got a, I've noticed a small amount here as well on this side. There we go. Now that, you can't really see any more fusing. That's all been cut and it's really, really neat. So now we can just start bonding. You can even steam this a little bit as well. Really, really make sure that this is bonded really nice. Like so. So I would say that that, yeah, that's that's nice. That's not gonna come apart. That's, that's really nice. So the first thing what we need to do is when you fuse that, is we need to sew and attach these two main bow parts together. So with some pins. Now make sure, of course, that your fusing is on the outside and you've got your correct sides facing in on each other like so. Put some pins in there just really to hold this together to be honest with you. It's just to hold it together. Let's just move that over a bit. There we go. There we go, like that. Now I'm gonna put another pin on that side as well. Now the pins, they just hold this in place as you saw it. Um, now I've always worked with pins, always. Um, 
for this purpose okay i mean you know some tailors use like basting stitches and then you can you know you, you tack it all first no i don't do that i've always used pins for every single part of my project regardless of what we're making so pin that together and then you have your small uh, your bow tie straps as well now what you need to do is make sure that the right sides are facing you. Now with me, because this is a cotton and both sides are absolutely identical, there is no right side or wrong side. But you might have a fabric where you've got the correct side. So you need to have the correct side facing you. And just fold this in half. Put a pin. Let's get a couple of pins. Get a pin there like so and again correct side facing you and fold this in half so that the right sides are inside and get another pin just pin this all the way along like so okay now the next part is we need to stitch this in place so with the straps so we've got the long strap here and the small strap here what we need to do is stitch from here so you've got your centimeter seam allowance in down and then to here and then all the way along this raw edge here right along to there don't go back up just to there okay so that will attach that strap do the same as this one so start from here go down and across and leave a gap here and then the bow tie itself you are stitching right round the edge of the bow tie right round the whole lot so going from here up here along this side down along this side back to this point here where you started okay so i'm going to take these over to the sewing machine and i'm going to stitch these in place okay so as you can see i have now stitched right around the outside of the main bow part you can see there and the two straps so we've got the long strap for the bow tie we stitch right along to here and then back across and then the small bow strap we stitched along and again across there. Now the width of the strap, I mean I should have sort of mentioned this earlier but it doesn't really matter. The width of the strap, because you're using your one centimeter seam allowance, it will now fit exactly on the slider. Okay, so we've got the slider here, so it should fit exactly there because that's what we're going to be using the slider for because it slides across the fabric. So the next part that we need to do now is we need to just cut the corners like so and then we need to bag out or turn the strap through now I have a really really clever device for this now there is various ways that you can do this you can do it with knitting needles you can get um, proper um, turning through tools but the one that I've got is the best one that I've found um, and it's really really easy to use I found it on the internet or bought it from somewhere many many years ago it probably about 20 years ago now so I can't quite remember where it's from but I think I think they sell it at Nancy's Notions not too sure but it is this and what this is called it is a point former and tube turner so what it does is it turns your tubes through as you can see i mean it looks like a dental tool doesn't it it's uh it's quite it's quite unbelievable really so what we need to do is just place this in here because we're going to be turning this through now now watch how easy this is this is this is a remarkable tool and uh, we're just going to position that on there oh Now that we should need to get the point into the fabric. We need to just get that in there. There we go. And what it does is once once I turn it round, 
once you once you get it, the first thing is it will it will just slide back on itself like this as I'm doing it now. Look at that. So you can take this off, and that now is turned through. How easy was that? That is, it's just a remarkable tool. Remarkable. So now, because this is a bit of a point, what I do is re-slide that on there, like so, and really get the points out on there and there. See that? Um, and it's it's absolutely ideal. So that's that strip done. Now we'll do the second one. Just cut the corners. And it just turns it through. It's, uh, it, like I say, it's remarkable. It's a remarkable tool, this. I'm just going to just cut this down a bit as well, these allowances. Like so. And again, we are just going to put this on our tool. Make sure that that... Just needs to just go in there. There we go. And it will just there. Roll on itself. That's turned through. Uh, and we're just going to form the points. There we go. That's that done. So now we can press our straps. Just carefully press these, like so, and then the large strap. Just carefully press that right along. Just manipulate this with your fingers and just make sure that it's all straight. Bit of steam. And as you can see, that's flattening it all out. Really neat. Like so. There we go. Now this should actually now fit in our slider. As you can see, it does it very neatly. So it's perfect, perfect width that, perfect. So we've got our straps done. Now we'll be attaching our slider in a moment. But what we're gonna do is we're just going to we'll now work with the main bore part. So what we're gonna do is just trim this down Cut the corners. Just trim this down right along. Like so. Okay, so it's just just sort of working around. What I'm doing is I'm cutting close to the curve and then back out again. Cutting the corners like so. And what this does is it, it really neatens the whole thing up. Okay. So we're starting off here and then we're going into towards this here, but don't go too close to your stitching. Do not go too close, because what will happen is it'll just, uh, it, it could fray, it could give way uh, your stitching if you go too close uh, when, you, when you turn it through. Let's just manipulate this by cutting nearly there. Okay, so it's just all the excess there. Right, so this now is the important part. So now we've cut it all to shape. What we need to do is just grab the fabric, like so. 
Okay, and make sure that this fabric is out of the way. See that? And that directly in the middle, I mean, you can clearly see you, the middle of your bow tie. What we're going to do is we're going to slit this, like so. And then slit here, and slit up to the stitching, but don't go over it. Just only slit to the stitching. And we're now going to turn this through. So just carefully turn this through. Manipulate this. So with your scissors, just manipulate it, turn it through, as I'm doing here. Okay, and carefully just bag out the corners. Now, it's best to use your small scissors for the corners uh, because what it does is it, it sharpens it. Uh, it it just br brings out the corners better. Don't push too hard because you don't want your scissors to go through. Just be careful with that. And then bring through the other side. Just carefully bring that through until you've turned your bow tie through to the correct side. So just carefully manipulate this and bring the whole thing through. And again, with the scissors, make sure that this is all manipulated. Get your small scissors and again, bag out the corners, push the corners through but just be careful, knowing my look, the scissors end will come through, but just be careful with that. You don't want it to come through. Okay, so that's, that's fine. So now, manipulate this with your fingers and your thumb and roll this now so that it's all really neat. So just manipulate this. So you, what you want to do is, is really shape this because you want a real nice bow tie shape. Like so. And here. See that? So it's, it's really now starting to take shape. It's, uh, it's looking very nice. It's going to just manipulate this as well. Okay, just take your time with this. You want this to look really nice. Okay, so we're nearly there. We're now nearly there, and you can see the complete shape of your bow tie. Like so. So that looks really, really nice. And the bow tie, how it goes is it folds in on itself like that. You see? So it folds, it's like a, it, will be, it becomes an S. Okay, so that's how the bow tie will work. And of course your strap goes in there and that's and it's starting to look like a bow tie. And what happens is this part here is hidden inside. See, so you don't even see it. So it's really, really clever. Let's press that again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to be working with our three part hook and bar clasp system for the bow tie strap. So what you need is your long strap, okay, like so. And what we're doing is we are going to create this, this system on here. So you need to get the part which is enclosed in. And now is that? Oh, you've got a bit of, bit of interface that was stuck in there. Right. So what we need to do is your 
both the actual clasp itself of the hook needs to go in there like so. Oh, just, just manipulate that. There we go. There we go. That's fine. Like so. And this part, which is the slider, needs to be attached in there, like so. And it's the first part. So as you can see, that first part is in place. See that there? With your little hook. So when that's attached on there, you've got your hook in place and it's, it's uh, near enough ready to do the second part. So that is how you do that. So what you need to do is just stitch across here to attach this part in place. So what we can do is just actually bring this over a little bit further, but you don't want to have it too far because you want your sewing machine foot to be able to go over this flat. So I would say about that, that's fine. That is totally fine as it is there. So we're stitching from here across to there and what it does is it secures this part in place. Okay, so as you can see, I've now attached this in here and it's now secured that in place. So just give a bit of a press. Press this down. Okay, so the next part, in fact, we'll just press all this. Make sure that's all nice and flat. Okay, so the next part is we need to just, so as you can see here, just follow as I'm doing this. Okay, like so. See the hook there, which forms there. And then just thread this part like so. And this part goes finally into here like so. So as you can see, you've got your slider and your hook now in place. And then this part, which is just the bar, you just position that like so in there. Bring this out the way. And then just press this, turn this over like so. And again, Oh, so you know, I'm going to get, just get my scissors and just make sure that that's neatly there, like so. That's it. There we go. That's just formed an edge and we need to just get this slider in there, like so, so it's on the edge. And again, what we're doing is we're just going to repeat what we did here and stitch this part down. And what happens then is you've got your hook and bar slider. So when you attach it, it looks like that. And it's very, very nice. So literally what you did before, just stitch across here a couple of times to secure this part in place. So as you can see, I have now secured this bar in place. See that? And that's how it looks and you can adjust your slider with this here. So it's, it's really good, it's really nice. Okay, so the next part is we need to now attach, oh, I'm just gonna just position this so it's nice and flat, like so, there we go. Yeah, like we say, I said, we now need to attach this long bow tie strap, the short strap, and all of this together as one. So, this is what you do. 
Get your bow tie, your main bow tie, and you can see your slit here. Make sure that that is facing downwards. Let's just give this a press. Like so. There we go. Grab your main bow part strap, okay, and make sure that this hook part is facing upwards. So as you can see there, this part, the hook, facing upwards. And position that onto your bow tie like so. As you can see there, I'm just going to put that in the middle there. Okay, position that on there. So this part here is just past the middle. There's your middle. Just past the middle like so. Just position that on there like so. This part, what we need to do is just position that on there. Now you can see here, we've got this part here which curves down. You need to position that so it is just on the curved part. Oh, let's get, the, the, get the, the raw edge part. Just cut that. And position that right there. Okay, like so, as you can see there. And we're just going to put a pin on here like so. So as you can see, that is how to position that. And what we need to do is we need to just secure here. So just basically stitch on here the width of your strap. Don't go over your strap, but just position it on the width of your strap. Here, just go over a few times, and what that'll do is it'll secure all this in place. So take that over to the sewing machine and stitch that to secure that in place. So, as you can see, I've now stitched and secured all of this in place. It's gone right through, as you can see there, right through the whole thing. So what we need to do now is just give this a press. Just press the whole thing. like so. So now what we need to do is we need to just fold this in the correct manner. So what we need to do is, as you can see, this is the shape of your bow tie. So fold this like so. So you see that? And then of course this part will be folded. I'm just going to get that out of the way. Like so. And then that appears on the back. Okay, so it, it, it is a little bit tricky but it works. So place your bow tie flat like so and fold this over like that and press this. See that? Press that. Make sure this is out the way and then this part fold that back like so so that the whole thing as you can see, is folded like an S. And press that. Just press that. So as you can see, it's like a, it's like a Z. You see that? And of course, this part here stays at the back of your bow tie, like so. So the next part, what we need to do is you need to get hand sewing needle now. This is the last part of this before it's finished. And just get a bit of thread and cut at an angle, like so. Always cut at an angle. And then that makes it easier to thread your needle. So that's now threaded. So our needle's now ready. And what we're doing now is we're just basically just watch what I'm doing here. Just winding this round. Now this part needs to end up at the back again. Make sure that your strap is at the back. Oh, it's gone a little bit funny there. Yeah, we, uh, we need to get that positioned a bit better. Just manipulate this so it ends up back round at the back there, like so. Make sure that that's all in. 
like so. And this is what we're going to attach. Now, if I turn this over, see that? That's now your bow tie forming. See that? And it, it will sit in the middle. Now, we need to just make this just that little bit tighter. Just make that a little bit tighter. You can fold this over, but that needs to be on the back. It needs to position itself on the back. Make sure that your straps are flat. So that's more of a tighter look. See, now the bow tie looks a lot neater now. And all we're doing is we are going to just stitch this and secure this, oh, just secure this in place. Let's just do this a few times, make sure it knots itself, there we go. Once you've got it, you can then stitch the whole thing. Make sure that no raw edges are showing just, just basically push that back in, you know, you want that just to be quite neat really. There we go. And it's it's just so easy, isn't it? And the, the, the end, it's like, you know, it's, it's so quick. One minute you've got, you haven't got your bow tie. And then the next, and the next minute, it's it's finished. This this last part, it's uh, the build up to this last part. It uh, it does take a bit of getting to, but once you've stitched this part in place, that's it. You're uh, you're done. A few more. Okay, I'm going to knot this now. There we go. That's it. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? That's our bow tie now complete. And of course, that attaches on there, like so. And that's our bow tie. Doesn't that look great? And you've got your slider there, the side, and just undo that. But that's it, that's our bow tie finished. So, thanks for watching. And I hope that you can create lots and lots of nice bow ties for yourself. It is a really, really simple project to do, uh, but very effective. And this, like I said, this is the exact way that they make them in the industry, the way they're folded. I mean, you can go and have a look in the shops if you like, the way that they fold them like this, but it is the exact way. So thanks for watching, and I will see you again very soon in another project.